<laughs> you all got to look into the whites of their eyes. They don't like it up and he's died, hasn't he? The old geezer in dad's army. <laughs> Cold steel. <laughs> it is to oh no, it's still Wednesday. The sex of February 2013. Another little corner. Corners everywhere. Now. Hmm. God made it this way. I'm turning the radio off, sorry. Back in a sec, sorry! Coming back! Sorry about that. No, God made it this way. In all normal higher animals, as twere, there is a male and a female to procreate. That's the way it is. So, just as for instance, the jolly old, jolly old England is jolly old, jolly old discussing about either two men or two women marrying, and it was passed in the Commons last night. <coughs> hmm. What a load of old cobblers, mate. What does a youngster tell, I mean, uh, what's his name, Elton John? I think he's got two children now, with his male, whatever he is. What do they tell them when they go to school? Oh, there's your daddy. And where's mummy? I've got a mummy. Or the other way around, two women. Where's your daddy? Oh, I've got a daddy. <clears throat> what people do in the privacy of their own home is their own affair. Fine especially in matters relating to <coughs> sex. Ooh. Why could that lady, woman, <laughs> she got all high and mighty about sex on the stage. The sexual act performed in public. Oh, I say, frighten the horses. What about killing and violence and the manufacture and sale of arms? Mr. David Cameron was pottering about the world, flogging Britain's wares, British aerospace systems, to the world. Proud of it, he is. Yuck. What a surprise if these arms are used. An exocet missile down that ship. <coughs> France makes them, exocet missiles, in the Falklands, down, sank. Hmm. Anyway, this is my ramble again. Tomorrow I have to go and see the police about potential harassment of my former wife because I went to the area having found an address through a public company on which my son was the company secretary and my former wife was the managing director or whatever some little business, whatever it is. Animally thingy what so mm. anyway, public records, that's why I went to the area. That's how I could find out. <coughs> the film was taken down by the YouTube lot because my former wife is still at her tricks. <coughs> Ah, 
I've established now the fact that my son committed suicide from the um, H.M. Coroner of Oxfordshire on Tuesday, the 23rd of August 2011. I was in Rome. I've been on a pilgrimage around the world ever since these matters kicked off after the initial five years fighting in the courts and not receiving justice from the English legal system. Mm, tea cosy. It's actually still jolly cold. Right, so... Well, good, actually, I'm afraid. Because it means I am forced to face these facts. Good. And so shall she be. <coughs> She's a liar now, and she was a liar then. And half truths. And the little judge, his honour, Judge O'Connor, in the county court of Central Milton Keynes on Silbury Boulevard, said, Oh, yay, oh, yay, oh, yay, it's a woman speaking. She must be telling the truth. And me, my truth was never believed. My mother's dead. She was a maternity sister. She had no normal relations with her grandchild. Her husband, as it happens, my stepfather, my own father, died before I was born. <coughs> Obviously also had no contact. They were married for 39 years, my parents. Gentle folk. If you don't, knife me in the ribs or stand on my toes even then I am a gentle man Christian man but the facts are now there the social services just totally didn't spot this I was the man, therefore I must be in the wrong, because the woman says this, 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 and this, and she must be telling the truth. Ha! Rubbish! Absolute evil. I bear the wounds in my soul. Deep within, <clears throat> the joyous upside is that I am a beautiful Christian spirit, and so I am, here to serve God. So all of us, man and woman and son in this context, the three of us, and our respective families and the people we've known along the way all participate participate in this woman's evil my former wife mm. so it is Well, it should be brought to the attention of the authorities now, even at this late stage of the game, now. And the matter should be further investigated. Most of the people involved in the authorities obviously will have 
passed on by now. I don't mean dead, I mean no longer <coughs> around or whatever. This is 15 and 20 years ago. Doesn't matter. The tenor of the situation then was false and still is as far as I can work out. Women still think that they can just tell a pack of lies and they have to be believed, whereas the man is treated like, um, just an afterthought. This is breeding nations. It's not just England. It's worldwide, this, where the woman is king of false relations. One doesn't know <coughs> someone growing up in that circumstance without a mummy and a daddy who love each other. Daddy kissing, you know, Father Christmas kissing, mummy under the mistletoe and all that stuff. That's what children need. Mm, I've spoken about this before. So there we are. <clears throat> children need two loving parents. A mother, ladies first, and a father, mummy and daddy. That's what they need to be normal. That's the normal, not an ideal, just normal. Hmm. Jerry O. Hmm.